What is going on everybody? My dad just bought a Class A RV 2300 miles away from home, sight unseen. And I wanted to give you guys a look at what he just did. So I thought I'd bring you guys on a tour to go check out his new RV. And a lot of you did see the video about a year ago that I did when my parents had the 2022 uh, Winnebago Inspire. That was a great coach. Unfortunately, in January of this year, my mom passed away after a 17 year battle with amyloidosis. So it was time to find a new home for that Winnebago Inspire. So my dad is an avid RVer. He's gonna continue RVing. He has been caretaking uh, for my mom for the last 17 years. It's gonna be really good for him to get out on the road, but wanted to show you guys his new rig. So let's go uh, take a look here and see what he got. ready to hit the road with grandpa on his new RV. Congratulations on, on the new coach. What did you end up getting? Thank you. Well, as you know, we had the uh, Winnebago Inspire and the Inspire was awesome for uh, what we needed it for. We had several fantastic trips, but this is a 2019 Newmar New Air that Andrew kind of sniffed out. Thanks to the Motor Coach store and Brad helped me uh, trade in the Inspire and get this 2019 Newmar New Air. Yeah, so you bought the New Air sight on scene. Brad told you to send the money. How has the experience been so far? And you want to show us around your coach here? Sure, absolutely. Well, it's been great. It's been really great. I would say it far exceeds my expectations. I drove the uh, Inspire across the country. This had just come in trade. The entire team at the Motor Coach store uh, went all through it. Yeah, let's show it to you here. So we have a wonderful uh, living area here. It's got a little dinette here and this uh, actually slides right in there. Yeah, and I really like how that pattern with those kind of studs follow through on that ottoman when it gets tucked away there. Now this is a big step up from the Winnebago Inspire. This is the top of the line in the 35 foot coach range. Why did you choose this coach? As you may have heard on the Inspire video, this is on the Freightliner chassis and I'm a huge, huge advocate of the Freightliner chassis and that's this new Mar is basically on the same chassis. It's easy to get around, easy to maneuver, ride quality is fantastic, but of course the new Mar build quality is at a whole different level than I had before. Now this coach has so many options that I want to share with the folks, but there's one big complaint that you already got rid of on this coach and already made a change. You want to show us the one change you did? Absolutely, come with me. So in the Inspire, we got you hooked up with a new mattress. And of course, then in this coach, we put the Brooklyn bedding on here. Military tuck. Right? No worries. Under uh, four sets of sheets there, Brooklyn bedding mattress. Now we got you set up with a Brooklyn bedding mattress in the Inspire. You got rid of the New Air mattress. Back in the fall of last year, you actually got a Brooklyn bedding mattress at home. What made you decide to go with the Brooklyn bedding mattress at home as well? Well, absolutely. So we used the Brooklyn bedding mattress in our RV and we liked it so much. We purchased one for our home. And then now, of course, I switched this from the Inspire. Inspire. Yeah, the new New Airs are hitting on like 700,000 new. And I know this coach wasn't quite that expensive new, but still I was a little disappointed with the quality of the mattress and the new Mar. This Brooklyn bedding mattress is a huge step up and you can get one of these at rvmattress.com. And if you use the coupon code Andrew Steele, you'll get 25% off. And these do have a 10 year warranty, a 90 day sleep trial. They ship them right to you. So you don't have to jack around with going to mattress stores now when we did move this in i will say it was a little bit easier just getting it from the box from brooklyn bedding to move into the coach but the mattress was so good that we did pull it out of the winnebago and brought it into the new air brooklyn bedding mattresses do have a factory in my home state of arizona so i've known about them for a long time and they have free shipping anywhere in the continental united states and that's a lot easier than jacking around to the mattress stores like even at your house wasn't that much easier than going to a mattress store well 
and we purchased a king which is quite large and yes it came right to the house i was able to do it myself unraveled it really no problem at all so it was really easy huge thanks to brooklyn bedding for sponsoring the channel we greatly appreciate them and the high quality mattresses that they make really excited that my dad's got a high quality mattress in the new new air but let's talk more about all the cool features in this coach and i want to talk about the cathedral ceilings here in the bedroom. What do you think of the cathedral well, ceilings? Well, I'm 5'11", and this has to have, I don't know, two uh, foot and a half over the top of me, and I'm not even in the center here. And there's a little three inch rise right here. So even standing on the rise, you can see I have some incredible headroom. And you see how Newmar did the air conditioning, all really well done. Nicely finished out. Of course, we have the nice TV. Really finished out nice. Well, yeah, all the accent lighting. And then also I want to point out the way the air conditioning, the air flows out in the middle of the coach. It doesn't have vents that would be shooting onto the top of the slide rooms when the slide rooms come in. Not only do these look really good aesthetically, but they actually keep the noise down. The lighting in this coach, there's a lot of stuff that your Winnebago did not have that this does have. You want to pop the closet door sure, open real sure. quick? Yeah, yeah. Nice uh, lighting in here. Yeah, definitely makes it much easier to find some clothing. I'll show you one thing that I really enjoy. This slides open right here, which is quite uh, unique. And so you can access the windows and open them up for some additional airflow. But this is a nice little kind of a privacy thing, yet you still get all the natural light in. And there is an emergency egress there in that window as well. And then speaking of emergency egress, in your full bathroom, your water closet, you do have an emergency egress with a bidet toilet. And we gotta give a shout out. We already got my dad set up with some liquefied. And I gotta show you how this works is it's so got this cool. little container right here. So in order to get the right amount, what you do is you just simply squeeze that and then that fills up that to whatever level you want. It's and then you simply dump that amount in and you're good to go. You're not wasting any product. Huge shout out to Matt. And my dad watched a lot of Matt's videos when RV shop. Actually, for over the years, you've been, uh, how long you been watching Matt for, you think? Oh, well, I probably a year and a half. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't looking for a coach with a bidet, but hey. You Have know. you tried the bidet yet? No, not the full. Hey, hey you're the paying customer here, so yeah. you're gonna have to enjoy that. Let us know how that is. Yeah. Now, a good size shower there. Oh, uh, the shower, nice and hot. Look at the shower head they put in there. Yeah, I like right. that. That yeah. it's almost coming from the ceiling the way and, that is. And two shelves, right? Which is really nice. And look around the corner. Uh, you know, I'm huge. I'm all about ADA, right? Yeah, so, a little grab handle. A big ADA grab handle and a seat. Nice right? teak seat, so, too. So, you know, for those of us that got some physical challenge from time to time, whether it's a new hip or a new knee, Good to go. Beautiful tile work that Newmar did here. Yeah. But look at this. This is unbelievable. First of all, you have all of these little shelves for things, but oh, then, you got to push it in first. So check, yeah, oh, and then it right. unlocks. That's right. Yep. Dovetail construction. And you can tell yeah. I'm still learning how everything works. But Andrew pointed out that you can even put a case of water in there, which is really nice. Yeah. And the refrigerator has this little thing here. You know, it's all about keeping it locked going down the road so you don't have any trouble, but nice, huge refrigerator. Yeah, residential right. style Samsung refrigerator. Yep. And then I want to point out too, I'm excited for you. You've got heated tile floors. You definitely didn't have those in the Winnebago. No, 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 absolutely not. So uh, yeah, no, it's really, and this is really cool right here. Check this out. Central back. Oh, here's Brad Twait. Hold on one second. We got Brad Twait on the phone. Much, man. Did your dad get underway yet? We're actually just filming a video right now, doing a review. What's your review for uh, Brad Twait, Dad? Fantastic company, uh, fantastic team. Uh, really, really helped me out, and I so appreciate it, Brad. Yeah, been here too, sweet mom. I appreciate you. So now that we don't have Brad on the phone, what's the real review? 
motor coach store. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no, seriously, real, real review, Brad, the whole overall experience. Well, it was fantastic. Absolutely very, very easy, very pleasurable. Chelsea started out uh, communicating with me on getting all the details together. I got there and Melissa walked me through the coach when it was just coming in trade. Rob helped me out with all the paperwork. And then Joel did an outstanding job walking me through the coach and making sure that I knew how all the systems worked and or at least how I could get help if I needed it. Okay, let's keep looking through this coach here. What else do you like about it? What I was gonna mention is, I mean, there's all these lights. I mean, we've got light controls, shade controls, nightshade and day shade up here you've got your wireless charging for your telephone and it looks like your grand dog wants to roll with you yeah, is, she, is she coming to arizona to um, join you and esther you know she knows esther and i've said esther's name a few times our corgi she did this on her own she just got in this unit and she's been sitting here for about a half hour now a little so while yeah I, I think there's uh something to be said here so, yeah. yeah definitely but uh yeah wireless charging port little tray and driving this coach how was driving this uh compared to the winnebago they're both on the same chassis i would say everything on here obviously is just feels a little tighter in many ways it drives the same but obviously the cockpit is really you feel like you're in a, a really high-end situation like an s-class Mercedes, the way it wraps all the way around. You've got your cameras on a large screen, power window over there, even like this whole window area. And then also too, the comfort drive. We've got that turned all the way up. What were your thoughts on the comfort drive? Yeah, it's nice, beautiful, easy, easy, easy to drive. That's for sure. Phone charging port up there again. Wireless charging. Yep. And I like that there's a little lip right here. So if you do slam on the brakes, it's not falling on the dash there. Back here in the coach, I want to point this out. This craftsmanship by Newmar, just this cover over the window and all this woodwork in these cabinets. Yep. Really top notch. And then of course you have the televator here. Now this is one thing. So this is one little flaw. We have to like kind of push this thing up so that it doesn't catch because if we didn't push that, the televator was catching. So I do think that you need to go to Napanee, Indiana. I know the motor coach store did a great job doing the whole PDI, but some little stuff like that I think could be adjusted a little bit or I don't know, take it to Napanee and see what they're able to do. Right. That's the one little thing and all you have to do is just kind of touch it and i think a lot of motor homes are going to have some little quirks like that so you kind of learn the coach but yeah and i didn't even notice this until this morning but the bose is up here and then of course you've got all your electronics up here for tv and so now I've got to ask you, what are your thoughts on the Gretsch RV Sprinter? Those that don't know your past, you worked a lot with Mercedes-Benz and Airstream in the interstate. What's your thoughts on the Gretsch RV? First of all, I love, love, love Sprinter-based RVs. In 2010, I was general manager of a large Mercedes-Benz dealership and we took on the Sprinter franchise. And then we established a relationship with Airstream uh, as both the chassis provider and as a retailer of the Airstream RV. So the Sprinter-based RVs are absolutely fantastic. Gretsch, we used to compete against them. They used to sell limo vans to Mayo Clinic. They're a great company, and I think the more the merrier that are building on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter RV. How do you think the Strata Ion compares to the Interstate? Do you think it's an Interstate killer, or what do you, what do you think? In the world of uh, good quality RVs, I think it's good to have competition, and I think you're going to see each of these companies making incremental changes to the products that will only be great for the consumer. You should have been a politician if you weren't in the car business. Good answer. No, both at the top of the class B game. What's your overall thoughts? You've had this coach for a little over 24 hours now. You didn't take my advice. You bought the coach on sight unseen, which I tell folks to never do. And then when you took delivery, I tell folks to spend like a day at the motor coach store while you have all the technicians. I think you took delivery in about an hour total. Oh, it was longer than that. <laughs> Maybe but... an hour and a half. What was your total thoughts uh, taking delivery of this coach after 24 hours? What's your, what's your overall thoughts? I have a basic knowledge having owned several RVs, but I think the real key is what you know is that there are a lot of things that you don't know, right? So I'm actually more of a reader. So I'm looking forward to the time that I can sit down 
and spend a couple hours reading through everything and or these days you can pull up a lot of this stuff on YouTube and you can watch it. So I, I like to do a little bit of both to really grasp it. When I did take delivery, one of the things that I did, I did this on my last two coaches. When the delivery person goes through the coach, I actually will take like 20 to 25 little one or two minute videos because when you're out in the middle of Louisiana or Oklahoma or North Dakota, it's really great to have those little videos on your phone when you can scroll through and very quickly find the video that you need and watch it over to make sure that you know what you need to do. And that's one thing that I think the motorhome manufacturer should be doing. Gretsch RV actually has a Rolodex of those little short videos on YouTube. I've helped Liberty Coach produce little short videos like yeah. that but those are private on their website for owners only. Airstream has them as well now. I really think more RV companies should do just like the little quick little one minute kind of instructional videos. Yeah. That's a huge help for folks. It, and, and I'll even go one step further. If you haven't been to the Freightliner website, you can go on and you can find the manufacturer of the RV and you can click on just a whole series of videos that they have on site that are instructional videos on the chassis which is really really important good information now um, any other thoughts any other advice for the folks on YouTube you're getting ready to drive 2300 miles yeah I might have more to say when I get to Phoenix but <laughs> hopefully that's not the case congratulations on the new coach really excited for you well and Andrew without your help uh, this would have never happened so I, I really really appreciate you coming to the table on this my pleasure and the moral of that story is, is if you watch too much YouTube it could get real expensive you could buy one of these RVs. So. Oh yes. But, but it's priceless memories that you make. That's what it's all about. So really appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you. Glad to be here.